I like old things, and I like them to look old, but just be preserved and function. Jeff Peachy has been conserving books for more than 25 years. What keeps me going is I want to keep all this context to the text. Once a poet, he fell in love with books when he was putting together a book of poetry. For him, though, book conservation is more mechanical than artistic. Um, so I'm, I'm really interested in seeing those kind of granular nuts and bolts details about how they, they used a hammer to back the spine or somebody had a mistake. All binders would beat to books like this on a big stone. He said what amazes him the most are the skills that went into making these old books. Those skills have been lost, he said, because people don't make books on the scale they used to. A well-made book can last a very long time, longer than all of us put together. <laughs> and they're just, I mean, they're remarkable machines to me. And it's, these, they're, they're, it's almost a perfect organic thing that a book can function thousands of years almost. As a conservator, it is not about replacing the old with the new. It's about preserving the history of the books and their monetary value. So the more we know about the material context of information, the more that's going to give us more information in the future. Even though reading digitally is more popular now, he thinks that in the future people will realize the value of books. People are, are going to kind of rediscover just what a wonderful thing a book is to, as compared to reading digitally or, or some other way. So I, th I think it will come back at some point. Awaiting that day, he will continue with his work for as long as he can and hoping that it will happen I'll before all the old books are gone. Reporting by Xu Wenrong, NTD News, New York.